Thank you for watching and in this video we are going to cover circular patterns. So circular pattern is pretty similar like linear patterns but in circular pattern we need a axis or axis of rotation or just a line on which we can just make a rotation of our feature or our desired body. So let's go into the software and let's see how it works. So into the feature tab we can go into the ribbon section and you can see there is an option of linear pattern and there is a tiny menu here I'm gonna click on that and there is a second option which is circular pattern so I'm gonna go into the circular pattern and then the first thing which you need to choose is like what is the axis of rotation where you want to rotate your feature so the first thing is like do we have a axis of rotation where we can rotate so the first thing is we can just rotate around this edge if you have an edge then it's fine or normally if you can go into the view section and you can just click here view temporary axis so I can just select this view temporary axis so with that you can see we have some temporary axis so we can just go into that and we can take it as a rotating axis so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna select this as a axis of rotation and then there are two options like the first thing is if you want equal spacing and then the second option is you can have an instant spacing so there is another important thing like do you want to made a pattern of feature and face or you want to rotate a body the whole body so in this example i would like to just made a pattern of this uh, screw hole so as you can see we have uh, this screw hole so i want to made it uh, the pattern so right now as it is selected equal spacing so that's why it's gonna showing that it's gonna rotate around this axis in 360 degree because 360 degree is selected here and how many number of uh, holes do you want so you can increase it's seven now eight nine ten so but actually we don't have part here so we don't want an equal spacing so i would i would choose instant spacing so in this way so you can just change the view and then you can see how much difference or how much distance you want between two holes or you can just increase the number of holes and okay i would say it looks really nice sorry for distraction but if you think my videos are helpful for you or if you are a serious solidwork learner i am gonna highly recommend you you can go into the description of this video where you can find my course link in which i have over 10 hours of videos in which i explain each and every command in a detailed way thank you so there are three important things the first thing is axis of rotation you need to choose and then in how much angle of rotation you want what is the degree and then how many number of holes or whatever the feature you want to make pattern so how many like in the quantity how much do you want to make a pattern and then you just need to click the green check mark boom as you can see like just by clicking one operation so we can have a multiple holes so if we were going to made one by one it's gonna take a lot of time so that's why this is a really powerful tool i would say okay till now what we did is like we just use a circular pattern and we just a pattern of feature around the axis of rotation but what if i would like to made a pattern of body so I can do that but for that the again the thing is like I need an axis of rotation but right now we don't have any axis of rotation for this body so what we can do is like we can just select this face and we can go into the sketch and then I would like to made a sketch I need an axis of rotation so I would go into the sketch and made a line like somewhere here okay i would made a line here and this then i'm gonna check the green check mark okay so right now i have a body as well and i have a line so which i'm gonna use as a axis of rotation okay and then what i can do is i can just go into the features and then first i need to exit the sketch and then i would go into the feature and then into the circular patterns and then the first thing which I need to choose is I need to select a axis of rotation which I'm gonna select this line which I already made it and then do I need a equal spacing yes I want a equal spacing and then this time as I already told you we are not gonna pattern the feature we are gonna select the bodies 
and then we need to select our body look in this way we can just made a circular pattern of anybody so what right now i i am using a equal spacing and it's around 360 degree i can increase the number of bodies it's eight you can increase nine i would say seven eight is fine like there is no overlapping and everything looks nice and then i'm gonna check this green check mark look how cool it is looking like it's a kind of creative logo so it's a really powerful tool i would say so by using this you can save your a lot of time and but yes like there is a thing which you need to keep in mind like maybe by applying circular patterns or anything because all of a sudden all these geometries are gonna made so maybe for a couple of seconds the performance of your pc is down or speed is down and that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and if you are a serious solidwork learner then don't forget to check the course link in the description thank you sorry for distraction but if you think my videos are helpful for you or if you are a serious solidwork learner i am gonna highly recommend you you can go into the description of this video where you can find my course link in which i have over 10 hours of videos in which I explain each and every command in a detailed way. Thank you.